guys, it's Christina from Makina Designs and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create your own foil in Photoshop. I love using these foil textured or foil backgrounds in all of my designs. Um, I use it on Canva, I create logos with it, I create e-flyers, marketing cards, um, product labels, you name it, I can use it. These are amazing and they add so much glam and just like professionalism to your designs. And that's what you want. You want something that's going to be so eye-catching but yet glam and effortless. Like this is what this is what we're going to do, you guys. We are going to learn how to do these and we're just going to bring your designs up a whole nother level, okay? So go ahead and open up Photoshop. I have mine open. And I opened a six by six canvas just to start. You can do this any size that you want, but preferably, um, I would say something larger than 1080 or five by five. If you plan on creating these foil textures and selling them, then you're gonna want them big enough that you can size them and not lose the quality. So I would recommend maybe 12 by 12 for those um, inches and 300 DPI. I'm just going to start off um, super basic, super small for this one, just to show you guys how to do it. So this is a 6x6 six six canvas. Now what I'm going to do is down here in the corner, I'm going to select two colors. Now you need two colors in order to create this foil look. So I'm just going to do a nice bright pink color. And then for my second color, let's get another pink again. Let's make it just a little bit lighter. And there we go. So down here in the corner, we have a brighter or a darker color and a light color. And then I'm gonna go up here, gonna hit filter. I'm gonna go to render and hit clouds and bam. There are the two colors that I have down here in the corner, the dark color and the light color. The reason that we need a darker color and a light color is because that is what's gonna add that texture or that foil look it's going to make it look very shiny once we're finished with this and so you're always going to need a darker color and a lighter color now what i'm going to do is go back under filters and go to the filter gallery and under distort how it has all the different um, options here under the folder distort you can either do glass or ocean ripple i'm going to do ocean ripple for this and you can just play with these um, these sliders over here and just move it around to your liking. So if you want the ripples bigger, obviously it looks a lot more shinier when it's bigger than just bring the number up. I tend to stay in the 7 range and then the, the ripple magnitude. Um, as you can see, if you bring it down, it doesn't really do anything. If you want it more distorted and to add that like shiny foil look to it, I'd bring it all the way up to 20. That's what's going to give you that nice glossy shiny foil. And then hit OK. And there you go. You can zoom in and see how shiny this looks. And that's it, you guys. That is literally, it's so easy to make. You just need two colors, a darker color and a lighter color. And you just go into your filter. You use the clouds and right into your filters gallery like it's so easy anybody can do this if you have photoshop um, now you can make these and sell these or you can bring your designs up to a whole nother level you can create any color you want you can do gold you can do reds blues greens anything you want go wild go crazy and create some amazing art you can go ahead and export your designs um make a whole bunch of these just go crazy you guys you now know how I release you into the world to make your own. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this video helped you learn something. It's so simple and so easy to make. Photoshop is an incredible tool to use if you are a graphic designer and you love to create, and especially if you're a graphic designer that loves to create your own design elements like me. So like, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you, guys.